doing more with less, growing more with less impact and more sustainability uh, of the environment. And to me, that is kind of a very broad definition, but it, in, it includes the modern tools of, of modern day farming. It includes large farms and small farms. Um, it includes all aspects of production. In my view, and I think agroecology has to reflect the realities of modern farming wherever it may be around the world. I, I think the story of canola is a story about agroecology. Um, it does involve modern day farming practices and, and tools and technologies. For example, before GMO canola came along, uh, the uh, zero till um, percentage of land, zero till in Western Canada, it was only about seven percent. After um, we brought in canola production, uh, zero till operations or zero till of the soil now uh, is sixty-five percent of, of Western Canada. And what that means is going to, into zero till is you're saving energy. Um, um, you're seeding right into the trash from previous crops and the residues of previous crops, and not disturbing that. And placing the seed and the fertilizer in the soil exactly where it's needed, very precisely. And so, um, with that uh, increase in zero till, we've seen a 71% uh, reduction in carbon emissions, primarily in the form of CO2. Um, we've seen a 43% uh, reduction in the use of energy, in energy use in producing the crop. We've uh, removed 126 to 195 million liters of diesel being burned because of this system as well. And overall, there's a 25% increase in the efficiency use of land, meaning we're growing 25% more canola on the same acreage. We're not expanding acreage, so that's doing more with less. Innovation comes with a package, so it wasn't just the seed, the biological advancements on seed technology. Um, it relied on chemi chemistry technology, mechanical technology, and engineering of, of, of farm equipment. It utilizes GPS now, mapping, computerization, robotics, drones, all those things have come together to make this happen. And we're not done yet. We're going to use those tools that we currently have even more in the future because our target is to increase the production of canola on the same land base. Currently we grow about 21 million tons of the product and our target is 26 million tons by 25, by 2025. And we think we can get there, again, doing more with less.